this video has a very long title. Basically what it is is you have uh, a box or a rhombus or a square, a rectangle, whatever, and you've got a missing dimension. So we need to write and find the missing dimension. We're going to write it as a simplified algebraic expression, okay? So let's say you're given this and you need to find the length. You know the area, that's this entire area here inside, and you know this width right here, but you don't know the length. So what do you need to do? Well, the length is equal to the area divided by the width. So we need to take this area, this 4x squared y, and divide it by the xy. Well, the 4 is going to drop down. This x is going to turn into a 1 because 2 take away 1 is 1. And the y's are going to cancel each other out. And guess what? The length is 4x. All right, let's look at this example. We know that this side of the square is 3a squared b. And we know that this is the area, OK? a equals area. We're going to split this into two different sections from the plus sign to make it easier. And we're going to divide each of these by the 3a squared b. So 3 goes into 6 two times. The a squares cancel each other out. The b's cancel each other out. We got our plus sign. The 3a squareds cancel each other out. And b to the second, take away a b, is 1. So we have just a b. So our answer is 2 plus b. Okay, let's look at this one. We need to find the height. We know that this side of it is 2z, and we know this is the area. So we're going to split this into three parts again. We're going to divide it by the 2z. 3 take away 1 is 2. Remember there's an invisible 1 there. 2 goes into 4 two times, plus sign. 2 cancel these each other out. 2 take away 1 is 2, so we end up with just 1z here. and 2 goes into 8 four times, and the z's cancel each other out. So our answer is 2z squared plus z plus 4 for our height. Let's look at this one. Okay? Here's our height. We need to find the base. Here's our area. We're going to split it into two parts. We're going to divide both sides by the a plus b. And after canceling out, we're going to get 8ab. And that's our base. So. This isn't that hard. All you need to do is determine that you need to divide the area by the amount given, and then do your canceling out correctly. So I know that this is a type of problem that is in some algebra books, and some people have trouble with it. Not that hard. You can do it.